Hello guys and welcome to another video in my lab. In this video we will see a few disadvantages of using cheap multimeter and what are the dangers of it, how they are constructed, how you can avoid harm to yourself. Let's get started. So I have this multimeter in my hand. Uh, this is uh, the cheapest multimeter like one or two dollar multimeter that you can get in the market. And this multimeter is broken. I found it in the in the junk and uh, I thought it would be a great video because it's burned down. You can see it's charred over here. It's black over here too. Don't know what it went through and what harm did it make to the user but we will see we'll talk about it more when i'll open it it's not labeled it's not even rated it's not even cat one level so you can understand it's not even safe to use and um, people in india use it to even measure the live wires so it is really dangerous but they don't understand it because they don't know why it is dangerous so hopefully this video will teach them let me open it so it's open and there were only two taper screws and here it is as you can see it's the board is charred already over here and over here too and uh, this piezo is flapping around in the breeze there is some short like it came out of the battery I guess so battery is gone too I guess yes there was some there were some sparks over here it's all charred number 10 I don't know what that mean So I think there is a short high power line current circuit someone was testing current and there was too much power I guess more than 10 ampere or even if there is 1 ampere it is too much like 250 watts is too much for this multimeter there is no protection there is only this MOV which is of no use it is the end of the circuit over there which it should be over here in on this line on this line over here somewhere and there should be a PTC also but there is only one shunt resistance and nothing much nothing much to talk about there is not even fuse there is there is no fuse there is a space but there is no fuse over there not even the other side I don't think so they cared about installing a fuse over here no there is no fuse so yes like if there is a 10 ampere then it, there is 2500 watts of power 2500 watts do you think this multimeter can afford that much power don't use these multimeters even if you are a hobbyist don't use this on the live power lines or high power circuits you can use these to measure voltages for batteries and for circuits of l low voltage but not not for the power supplies never use it in the power supplies it's too risky so now let's talk about what are the problems with this multimeter why it failed and why it failed so bad that it can hurt someone first of all there is no fuse there is no fuse and due to which there is no chance to protect this multimeter 
it is destined to be damaged since there is no input protection. And second, there is a design flaw. So let's talk about the design flaw. Right now, as you can see, this is the current input terminal, which is directly connected to the ground terminal by this shunt, which is wrong because there should be some kind of protection between ground and this terminal because when the current in the circuit, it can be harmful. So what should be the circuit? There should be a fuse then a shunt resistance which should be connected to the ground. This circuit is used in many high-end multimeters because the simple fact is there is a fuse which is for input protection but there is a problem with the fuse. It takes time for a fuse to blow up. So for example if it is a 10 ampere fuse and 10 ampere current is flowing through it, it takes a few seconds for it to heat up and blow up. In that time, in that, and if the current is too high, in that time, it can, bl and if the current is too high, that time, and that time is inverse and that time is inversely and that time is inversely proportional to the amount of current flowing through it but it takes time for the fuse to blow up and in that time it can blow up the multimeter so generally in multimeters like in this 20 ampere rated multimeter they use 10 ampere fuse they use 10 ampere fuse and you can still test 20 ampere in this for around 1 to 2 seconds so that's how these multimeters are designed so is this multimeter reliable for testing current not at all what about this one? You can test it. You can test 10 amperes for 3 to 4 seconds, but not more than that. You can't monitor the current using the multimeter. It's not designed for that. There are other multimeters which you can use, which are called clamp meters. Currents don't flow with them and it can test a huge amount of current. Also, the second design flaw, there is no blast protection. As you can see, the sparks came out of the body of the multimeter. This should not happen. Many multimeters like this one has blast protection. And also this rubber, rubber casing to protect your hand from the sparks. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.